The GML is a precision instrument designed from the ground up specifically for geotechnical monitoring. It shouldn't be confused with other survey tools available on the market that can suffer from error stacks between scans as high as plus or minus 6 millimetres. Plus or minus 6 millimetres of noise, critical deformation trends leading up to a collapse can be obscured within data noise. So it's quite common to see cumulative deformation up to only a few millimetres in stiff rock before a collapse. In squeezing ground conditions in a hard rock underground environment, we've seen typical deformation rates in the order of 0.5 to 1 millimetre a day. These kind of conditions are causing visible damage to ground support elements and present a real hazard. So without sub-millimetre accuracy, it can take weeks or even months to measure the rate of deformation with any confidence. In scenarios where someone, for example, may want to know the rate of floor heave occurring in a drive, it's just not practical to restrict access for weeks or months. So with that in mind, without sub-millimetre accuracy, it's impossible to identify critical trends in velocity over short periods of time prior to collapse. The wall may begin to accelerate and fail before we're even able to measure a reliable velocity. So what we've learnt from our history with radars in open pit mining environments is that detecting very slight changes in velocity as early as possible gives us the best chance of a fast response. This is especially important when we're faced with safety critical situations. This information can also feed directly into the short term mine plan, giving us the confidence to make the right operational decisions to minimise the potential financial impact of geotechnical hazards on an operation.